right, so here's the mini mill, and also by Grizzly, and that is just a slick little piece. Comes with all sorts of little uh, cool tools for it, a lot of different inserts. This is a drill insert here, but uh, it comes with some other stuff here, different chucks and stuff, and all kinds of really cool little things on this. Uh, I like it. I've, I've been playing around with it a little bit today, and uh, pretty happy with it. I think it'll get most jobs that I need to do done for as far as gunsmithing goes don't need a giant lathe for gunsmith or a mill for gunsmithing but uh, let's take a closer look at the grizzly lathe so here's the lathe and uh, there's all sorts of really cool stuff I'm not going to go into it right now um, but it's uh, it is really nice there's the model number too if anybody's interested and the G over here at the end that is for gunsmith and the reason they consider this a gunsmith lathe oh, which there's the piece I was working on right there real super nice clean cuts um, is because it has a larger through hole um, to accept barrels most lathes have a less than a one inch diameter through hole so that's why they call these a uh, the gunsmith um, all your thread stuff, you know, all sorts of th different threading patterns, um, different RPMs, very, very cool. And take a look at the back side here too. It's a, it's, it's an animal, it's a beast, <laughs> but it's a, it's very slick. I like it, I like it a lot. So on top of getting the machine, both the machines up and running and wired in and because the lathe is 220 um, the, it, we've been pretty busy actually we've done some reloading classes uh, had one gentleman uh, Shane who had some uh, some pretty serious is issues with his rifle uh, shooting a 7mm 08 here take a look at this um, had some pretty serious issues with it but I uh, uh, actually just invited him to to sort of do the work himself since you know technically speaking I can't really do the work for him yet um, but uh, until the FFL comes but uh, I can certainly teach him how to do it and he did a great job did a glass bedding job new Boyd stock uh, thumb hole stock and uh, uh, we were able to take that out to the range with some of the custom reloads that he did after uh, after taking the class and he's sinking uh, 130 grain Sierra bullets uh, about a half inch group at a hundred yards and that's got a 20 inch sporter barrel and we were he was laying one shot after another after another after another and you know, that barrel got pretty warm but man that thing just it just stacked them in there it was a really it, that's a nice shooting gun um, turns out the wife Lacey she uh, she liked the thumb hole design for her uh, she's gonna put that on her on her model 11 Savage um, and it's uh, she had broke her wrist uh, a few years back and she has no movement in her wrist anymore and so that thumb hole design just being able to come right through and just and just grab on without having to you know manipulate your wrist at all yeah, I think is going to be a, a really good for her so um, we'll, we'll certainly glass bed that too into her uh, Predator model 11 Savage and uh, I think that'll be a really really nice gun in that uh, the, those Boyd's laminate stocks, they're they're nice, especially for the price. They're they're just good stocks. Um, the new Boyd's at one stock. So when we were out Saturday, uh, when Shane and I and, and one of his other buddies that came down for the reloading class were out there shooting, and there was a gentleman out the range that had the new Boyd's at one stock, and I'll tell you what, that is a nice looking stock, and um, I may consider those on a future build. Uh, very adjustable, lightweight, ergonomical, um, kind of a really nice package. I, I, really, I, re I really liked it. And he had kind of a green, gray and black uh, laminate. It, very, very, very pretty stock. So uh, anyways, um, we do, I've been shooting a lot of video. I just, I haven't had the time, unfortunately, to, to upload, but I wanted to let everybody know, hey, I'm, we're still here. Um, we're not letting YouTube fall. We're still going to come to you with a lot of content. It's just been insanely busy. Um, and not to mention uh, the fire season up here in the nor northwest has been just crazy. The wife's been working her ass off. It's just been it's been uh, just constant. So, um, anyways, but uh, I am working on um, that Remington Model 700 action. I'm just I just stripped it today. Let's take a look at that. 
so it's sitting in my ultrasonic cleaner right now but I just stripped this thing down to nothing got all the paint and bluing and everything off there well there was no bluing it was just all paint but uh, I, it's it's a little bit wet right now but got just a few more spots kind of down deep inside here where uh, hard to see with the lighting but there's just a little bit of paint left in some of the little nooks and crannies um, and so we're gonna turn this into probably a Creedmoor and uh, and then I'll either decide to keep it or put it up for sale. I'm not sure yet, but I'll probably sell it because my next rifle build for myself is going to be a 6.5 by 47 Lapua on a Savage target action with probably a 26 or a 28 inch uh, shillin' bull barrel. Um, possibly a bench rest barrel, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll toy around with the idea for a little while and run some ballistic data and see what, uh, what we think. Um, but this is a uh, you know Remington 700 action, pretty good stuff here. So um, get this all. We're gonna true it all up, you know, blueprint the action and the bolt and everything. So I'm just waiting for some tools to show up so I can do all that work. I don't have the tools yet. So in the meantime, I'll just keep cleaning. But hey, I wanted to give everybody a shout out and just say hey, yeah, we're still here. We're still doing this um, videos. I'm sorry they're slow to come. It's just been uh, crazy busy. I'm hoping in the next couple weeks things uh, slow down a little bit and. Um, we'll get this FFL, we'll keep shooting some video, and we'll start getting some more stuff posted. Um, I know several folks have asked about the, uh, uh, the final video on the progressive press, and um, I've got a lot of video shot. I just I have to shoot a little bit more. I'll try to get some of that stuff down and get that posted. Um, I would still recommend that press, just in case anybody's wondering. It's a good press. It's a little finicky. Everybody who owns one knows that, but once you work out those little issues, it's a very good press. Um, other than that, uh, stay tuned. And uh, another shout out to all the Patreons out there. It's uh, um, we will show where your money's going. And uh, also, if you have any questions, anything at all, just shoot me uh, a message, send me an email. Um, we did move our website back to just vonprecision.com, um, and the business is sort of helping support some of that. Uh, the the added cost for the .com stuff and amongst many other things. So, um, anyways, vonprecision.com now, not wixsite.com. Uh, that title was just way too long. It was free, but it was just way too long. It was not user friendly. Um, and sorry, I almost sorry I ever did it in the first place. But when you start adding up the cost of starting up a business and really promoting it and advertising and t-shirts and sweatshirts and all this other stuff, it just gets, uh, it's uh, especially out of pocket. I, I didn't want to start this business going into into business in debt, so it's all out of pocket, um, uh, which is a good thing. Um, I don't want to be in debt, so uh, it's just it's a good thing. Anyways, um, want to let everybody know. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, hey, when's the next video? Where you at? Well, I'm right here. I'm just busier than shit. <laughs> so um, we'll get some stuff posted here shortly, and. Uh, We'll keep the content coming. Again, thanks for all the support, and thanks for all the questions, comments, everything. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up as usual, and we will uh, be back, I'm hoping, real soon. Real soon. So, enjoy. Hope you had a good weekend.